All right, we're back with some more David Bowie. We're checking out the song Modern Love. Let's get into it. focused like he's an artist you know what i mean Definitely. he's in the zone you know what i mean like it it's all right i can't wait till i can get the vibe of david bowie because i something i've learned listening to a lot of music is like just because you don't like instantly just oh i love this song doesn't mean you won't eventually you true I mean? it's almost like a song can brainwash you into liking it yeah yeah as long as you hear it enough times and it's like yeah it's like every song is somebody's favorite song so it's like i really want to like eventually i want to catch the vibes and like david bowie is an artist that i don't yet get you know he was walking like he was like toe heel toe heel like when he was oh, walking oh no I didn't notice that yeah he's like such an eccentric character such an eccentric artist I don't really have a good read on him yet I want to know what the song was about cause, he doesn't um, believe in modern love right 
What was he saying? Like modern God? Was he talking about church and religion and things as well? Right, he was. So I couldn't make out all the words Something course for that church video. Time. Something about, yeah. I thought he said he doesn't believe in modern God. Which is interesting. I mean, people's, like that whole religion, it changes over time. Like the way God be defined now versus, you know, a thousand years ago or 500 years ago. So that's interesting. But is that even what he said? I don't right, know. Right, is that even what he's talking about? I don't, I don't know. Think that was his, I don't think that was what he's talking about. I mean, he was definitely talking about religion somewhat, but he yeah. He did, but I think he was like, I don't know. That's a very strange song. I don't know. I don't have a read on it. Yeah, it was a chill song. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, okay, every artist that's like a huge, super world famous pop, like it's like, there's something about their art that captures millions of people. And it's like, I want to be captured. You know what I mean? I want to know what everyone knows. But it's like, you might have to listen to a whole album or something, then you get it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the best way. So with a new artist, you may start with like a smash hit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, you know, those are yeah. generally well received. A lot of people like them. That's why it's a smash hit. That's why it's a radio hit. Da da da. And then go dig into a catalog, listen to a whole album. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then yeah. you get a better feel. Yeah, I literally did not like Metallica off the first song I listened to. I did not like Black Sabbath off the first song I listened to, or Dio. Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses? You didn't. I didn't? Nope. Uh, what song was that? I don't remember, but you were complaining about Axel's voice. Oh, it was a jungle one. Welcome to the jungle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And System of a Down. You know? So, you never know. You never know. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.